Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In this video, I will show you how to install MariaDB in a Windows machine. So let's begin. Go to your browser and search for MariaDB download. Hit enter. Select the first result from MariaDB.org. Click on the download section and you can see the latest version is 10.5.0 at the time of this recording but that is not a stable version. The stable version is 10.4.11. Click on that and you will get a different options for download. We are going to select the MSI version which is the installer version. Click on that. That is going to download the MariaDB in your machine but I have already downloaded let me open the software in a folder so it's in my downloads directory so click on the software click next I accept the terms and conditions click next Click next, click next and enter a root password and remember this password we need this password later to connect this MariaDB and click next. Keep all the defaults and click next. The MariaDB is displaying some error uh, this is because I have already installed MySQL database in my machine and that is also using the same port which is 3306 and the MariaDB is also trying to connect to the trying to install the MariaDB with the port 3306 and it is complaining that the already address is in use. What you can do is either you can uninstall the MySQL database or you can change the port of this MariaDB. So I want both the databases for some reasons so I'm going to change the port number of this MariaDB. But if you have not installed any MySQL database, then you will not see any kind of this error. Click next, click next and install. Installation is done. Click on this finish. Let's close this. So let's connect to MariaDB using the command line. So go to your programs and search for MariaDB. This is the command line for the MariaDB. So let's connect to MariaDB using a command mysql minus u and the username which is root and minus p hit enter it will ask you to enter the password this is the password that you have entered at the time of installation and hit enter you can see now we have connected to MariaDB so execute a command show databases that will display the list of databases you can create a database by executing a command create database and the database name As you can see the query OK one row affected and you can again recheck for the databases. Okay you can see now we have a database B2 tech that just we have created just now. So now let's see how we can connect to this MariaDB using a GUI interface. Let's close this. So when you install a MariaDB it also install a tool called Hedy SQL. So go to your programs and search for Hedy SQL. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to rename this as localhost. 
so in the settings tab uh, we are going to keep the host name as localhost and make sure to enter the password this is the password that you have entered at the time of installation and change the port number if you have changed at the time of installation i have changed the port number so i'll enter the port number which i have entered at the time of installation you can save the session or you can just connect it to open okay it will ask you to save the uh, changes and you can see we have a database p2 tech that we have created using a command line you can execute a queries using a query tab so let's me let me create a one more database b2 tech 1 click on this execute query and you can see in the down uh, one row affected and if you refresh the local host and you can see a new database b2 tech 1 so that's all about this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video